morning. It's 6 a.m. I was up at 5. I'm going to Melbourne today for my Fendi made to order appointment and I'm bringing you with me. Toast for breakfast, cappuccino. I don't know why I'm eating because I'm probably going to get breakfast on the plane. So this morning I woke up and I had good news that I've been upgraded to business class. Yay! This trip is starting off so positively, um, which means I get to use the business lounge, which is really nice. Um, just a nice way to be more comfortable when you travel and it's quiet which is really nice too so I will talk to you in Melbourne because at the moment I look a bit weird talking to my phone in an airport lounge okay so I'm in Melbourne it's very windy and my room wasn't ready yet so I've just changed out my bag I'm going for a bit of a walk I'm supposed to be having lunch right now but I'm tempted I'm tempted just to start looking around. You know what I mean? No way. No way. So obviously I stopped at Fendi for a little while to check out some of their new bags. This is a men's mini trunk. It'll be relevant later. I love these shoes. These are the Colibri Classics in the eight and a half centimeter heel. Got a bit of shearling, summer vibes, in the Fendi fur slides. This jacket was pretty cool. It's like a denim blazer. These shoes are amazing. They're a more narrow fit. These ones are so comfy, it's not funny. Gotta go, time for lunch. So I'm having lunch on my lonesome. I'm across the road from Chanel. I've just spent 20 minutes in Fendi accidentally because I walked past and couldn't walk past because they had that beautiful blue like um, Fendi first in the window uh, and I'm so excited about our appointment this afternoon I really am um, after I have my lunch I am meeting my friend Nadia we're going to the National Gallery to see the Chanel exhibit and then we're going to Fendi and I'm so so excited like the photos that I've seen are nothing on the in-store experience. It's unbelievable. Okay, this is my favorite restaurant and my favorite meal. Steak tartare, french fries and a rosé. Welcome to Coda. So, I'm just walking down to the gallery after lunch. I shouldn't have had that second glass of wine. <laughs> um, this is Federation Square. That's Billie Eilish's, uh, um, you know, backbeat to the song, Bad Guy. Famous for it. It's actually quite a nice day, like it's overcast. Um, and it's cool, but I knew walking I'd get a little bit hot. So, yeah. Lunch was divine. Coda is my favorite restaurant. I just love the vibe there. It's like an underground, unexpected, refined, beautiful, beautiful food. Like, they say they're French Vietnamese, but I'd say it's contemporary Australian food. Um, yeah, there's something there for every palate. Put it that way. It's a glorious day for a walk and a shop. Um, I didn't, I, d I don't know if it's going to be okay to film in Fendi, um, so if I can't film, I'll take a lot of photos and then I'll, I'll talk you through the process. So, um, over here is our football mecca, the MCG, and the famous Yarra. There's me in the middle, obviously. But 
yeah, look at this big mug. Out of your face, you just say, I went my other time with Fendi. I've had a couple of glasses of wine. I am in my element. I was actually quite struck by the beauty products and how modern they were for the time, like 1929 to have that beautiful packaging, 1928 beauty cream and the materials that they were made out of. This packaging, like nearly a hundred years old and the product still in it, it's unbelievable. going to show you a glimpse of some of the beautiful dresses. Evening wear was really where Coco shone, I think. Le Cape Le Coq. <laughs> <laughs> Nadia and I were struck by the fact that these girls got to go to the Chanel Manifesto as a school excursion. The suit fundamentally hasn't changed in all this time. What do I say? Well, <laughs> um, you can say what you want to say. Uh, I have had the pleasure of meeting Nadia. Um, am I allowed to say your name? Yeah. Of meeting Nadia. Uh, we have been talking for months. Yes. About, I'm going, to show, I'm going to introduce her in a second, about Fendi, all things Fendi. Actually, it started, it, it actually started with this bag um, and then it went to Fendi and then it's all been downhill from there and here we are about to do a made to order appointment together and here she is. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> so we're having a wine, we've been to the Chanel exhibition. Something controversial I want to say. Yes, groundbreaking, groundbreaking, absolutely. But do you know that you guys are lusting after suits that were designed by a 70 year old woman for herself? So we are in Melbourne's famous Laneways. Say hi. <laughs> um, this is Hosea Lane. There's no one doing any artwork today, but um, there's plenty of artwork to see. Look at it all. Ooh. I don't know if you can tell or not, but I'm very excited by this mink baby blue Fendi first in the small size. I also tried the Nappa and I really like that too. The brown one looked a little bit too animalistic. So let's have a look through the store. Why we prepare for our appointment. Why we were looking at these bags, we were going through a lookbook on an iPad trying to nail down what we actually wanted to create in our made to order appointment. I found it very overwhelming to be honest with all of the different materials and I had to just go and take a break and look around and it really helped me to refine my thinking. As you can see here, it was a very private event. The store was closed and it was just us. Here we go, we have the sequin baguettes. So these are a bit different to my sequin because all the sequins are the same size. But in case you wanted to have a close up look, this one looks quite nicely finished. This one here, see how there's that big gap? I'm not a big fan of that. 
and the gap around the side. Reminds me of the Chanel Pearl Mini, which is not my favorite bag. Look what else they've got. They've got these from Thailand. So this is the Mini. This is from a few seasons back. They've got the Vendigraphies here. And then I've got these beautiful Fendi Firsts. I've tried the Fendi First a bazillion times. I just don't think it's for me yet. The Lampon net, raspberry. And here's the regular gold baguette. Again, sourced from Thailand. And the multicolor. So when I say those gold baguettes are sourced from Thailand, they're the last two in the world. The, uh, the rappies are really cute and lots of nano baguettes. The colibri heels you saw me try on before were just, they're amazingly comfortable shoes. This jacket coming up is a work of art and the shoes in the mink, cute, too small. This outfit tells me that I need to get onto the pre-orders because I could have had it. And this is where you do the made to order. The fabulous room with furs, and I know they're not everyone's cup of tea. These are all the buckles, and there are so many more, and all the samples. We've got our hairy mink and our shaved mink. <laughs> We've got our foxy lux here. Don't open a drawer with a fox every day. These are the peekaboos. Honestly, this stuff looks so much better in person. Wow. Okay, so Nadia and I have just signed a contract and we're having a baby. In nine months. Nine uh, months. Nine months. Um, we're at Lucy Lou now. We have been at Fendi for four and a half, four and hours. half hours. Oh my goodness. So anyway, um, we're signing off with a very late dinner. It's approaching 9.30 p.m. Uh, that's how you roll. That's how we roll. That's how we roll. So um, see you later from Melbourne. Stay tuned for the burn. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> Yeah, can this be an excuse for like a little bit of weight gain? <laughs> See you guys. Okay, it's 11 o'clock. It's 12 o'clock my time. And um, I've just got to the hotel. Uh, and my room wasn't ready until 45 minutes after they said it would be. So they've given me a bottle of wine to enjoy tonight <laughs> like you'll be fine tomorrow so you're gonna get to do the room tour with me here we go wow oh what a pity I don't get to enjoy the bath then we've got a shower oops a shower with a nice silhouette Great view. Look at all these little shutters here. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Oh, there's my bag. It made it. Okay. Well, that is a big television. This is my best Livia Elise Millen. <laughs> oh, I just had a shower. I laid on the bed, which was a big mistake. It's been an epic day. Look at that, I can't even film anymore. It's been an epic day. Uh, I'm so grateful to Nadia for teeing up this made to order appointment, which I'd never heard of before. Um, the Fendi team at Collins Street Melbourne Boutique were just unfreaking believable. It was like a cheer squad. It was like a bunch of trusted confidants um, helping and like it's not a small investment and there was never pressure there was a lot of champagne not irresponsible but 
it was just brilliant. It was really brilliant. Um, I will probably be paying more than an Hermes bag for this. I don't know. And I don't care because I can pick anything I want. And you guys are going to scream when you find out what I chose for my made to order. Arriving in nine months, just like a baby. So um, I can't wait. I can't wait for it to come and for to share that experience with you guys. <sighs> and now I'm going to go to sleep and dream about my bag. Good morning. I look a little bleary eyed today because well, I didn't sleep very well last night. I was on such a high from yesterday. <laughs> I still am. I was talking to my husband about it this morning and yeah, I just kept catching myself going, wow, this is really happening. So stay tuned for my next video and I'm going to take you through um, what I've chosen. Am I going to take you through what I've chosen now? I don't know. Maybe I will. Um, look at my hair. This is my, the day after hair, the high bun. <laughs> it's just a travel day. It's fine. Um, I just wanted to show you the beautiful view from my hotel room here in the Sofitel in Melbourne. Look, the hotel is a bit dated, I have to say, but um, the location is superb. Right at the Paris end of Collins, which is right next to Fendi. Um, so I'm going to flick the camera around and show you a little bit of Melbourne this morning. All right, so here's my view. Over here we've got the cityscapes. And you can look all the way out. The beautiful contrast between the modern buildings and this old, like, medieval church. A bit of construction work happening. I saw a man. Here he is. Look at this guy. Imagine if this was your job. Here he is. Can you see that orange outfit? His friend was dangling off the end before. Honestly, maybe they're not friends. <laughs> That's why he was dangling on the end. <laughs> and then over here, there's beautiful gardens. And I'm sure they've got names. Look at these dirty windows. And then straight down here. Yeah. So I'm just about to go to the airport. Um, I thought I would end the vlog here. My next video will be sharing with you my made to order in terms of all the details, um, the process I went through. Uh, yeah, I'll have to try and do it without crying with glee because I'm so excited. Um, I might also be able to share with you some other things um, from Fendi. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so you can see that I've traveled with my Balenciaga bag this time. I probably won't travel with her again because she does not fit under the seats um, particularly well. Although she won't have to fit under a seat this time because I'm in row number one. So uh, the good and the bad of being in row number one is that the good, you're in business class, which is a nice little upgrade. The bad is that you're not allowed to have any of your bags on the floor. They've all got to be in the overhead. So trying to get access to things and you know, entertain yourself during a flight is annoying. And now I'm on a window, so I'm going to annoy my companion. But oh well, it's two hours, they can deal with it. They won't know that they're sitting next to me. And, you know, that's their loss. So <laughs> I'm going to stop talking shit now and just say I've had the most fabulous time. Um, I wanted to put out some thank yous, a massive thank you to Nadia for making this happen. Um, as much as I've been a massive fan of Fendi. Um, I was not invited to do a made to order and that's probably because my Fendi relationships are primarily in Brisbane and Brisbane doesn't do the made to order. So the this amazing network of people that I've met through YouTube and Instagram has allowed this to happen and Nadia has been so generous to, yeah, to invite me along and give me the opportunity to do this. Um, who else? Meredith Yates. Um, you have been an absolute Fendi inspiration to me. And I know that the joke is on me that uh, I'm the one that got you into Fendi in the first place. But you've certainly taught me a lot about Fendi as well because you have gone hard, girlfriend. 
Um, so thank you, Meredith. Um, Sapna, uh, you and our Fendi conversations have been fabulous. And I know that you went through the maid to order and didn't go ahead, but um, you will in the future, I'm sure, um, because your Fendi obsession continues to grow. Lily at the Sydney Fendi flagship um, has been amazing and Meredith hooked me up with Lily. So thank you so much for helping me, Lily. And the whole team at Fendi on Collins Street here in Melbourne have been absolutely sublime. I was working with um, William, who is his first made to order event and he was so lovely. Alessandro, who is in, you know, gets so excited by the made to order and has a lot of knowledge. Linda, who is one of the store managers, um, just so insightful and wise. And Alex, who was the head of communications. The excitement of everyone was literally magic. So I don't think that, well, I don't know, that if in the house of the Fendi Maison, that they get cheers and oohs and ahs when they put forward new designs, because that's what I got last night. And that was magic, like so amazing. So um, I'm just gonna leave you with this little teaser. The bag that I have designed and gone ahead with is nothing, is nothing like what I told you guys I was going to get. So I'll leave it at that and uh, keep an eye out for my next video where I take you through what I chose. So um, yeah, I'm gonna sign off and Say thanks for joining me on this exciting fun journey and I will see you all in my next one.